what I want to share with you now is that this is, in fact, an opportunity that our ancestors never had. We're facing an opportunity to protect all who eat, to protect all living beings and all future generations. There's never been a technology that had such a huge potential negative footprint, so no one in the history of humanity had a chance to do such good. So you can decide that this is a burden and a duty and a responsibility, or you can decide that this is a huge opportunity. Put it on your resume. Saved all living beings, all future generations, 2015. Yeah. So find an excuse. If you go to responsibletechnology.org, sign up for the newsletter. If you want to join a group locally to speak about GMOs, join the Tipping Point Network. If you want to learn how to speak about GMOs, go to the speaker training program. If you want to just read and understand and hear, we've got lots of materials. You all said, you all said, except a couple of you, 80 to 100%. So everyone was between 60 and 100% wanting to share this information with others. So that's what I've been working on for 19 years, to be, ans be able to say, I've got what you need. So out there, I've got a right brain book called Seeds of Deception, which is all stories. It's like, what happened to Dr. Pustai? You know, the kind of story is like he's starting in the middle and he's been fired from his job and now he can, he can speak and whatnot. And I have the left brain book called Genetic Roulette. And then for the quick, easy learn, I've got the Genetic Roulette movie. They're not just created out of, oh, it would be nice to do this. It's all strategic. It's all strategic to drive specific groups and specific receptivity to avoid GMOs. So if you want to participate, find out what, what information you want to share whether it's the right brain book or the left brain book or the movie or the newsletter or all of it, and share it with a thousand of your closest personal friends. <laughs> How many people are on Facebook? How many people have an email address book? How many people know anyone? <laughs> <laughs> so there you go, you qualify. And you don't have to have the burden of memorizing these talking points because we have them in brochures, we have them in all sorts of formats. We have them in formats because our job is to just move that number, just ease that number. It's 40% of Americans saying they're avoiding or reducing GMOs, a lot less actually do it. Just move both of those numbers forward and we're done. We are so close. And the other side is freaking out. They're spending millions of dollars trying to discredit me and others and, and all this, everything you just heard. They're spending millions of dollars trying to create a whole social media strategy so that if anyone comes out against GMOs, there's a bunch of trolls that come on and try and discredit. They're doing all this because they're desperate, because we're winning. So now is the time to reclaim and put on our resume reclaimed, healthy, non-GMO diet for the world and the future. Thank you very much. Thank you.